Removal of Xanthelasma on Eyelids Xanthelasma, or what is known as Xanthelasma palpebrarum, is a deposit of cholesterol that has appeared due to the weakness of the skin in the eyelid area. Once it finds a path from your bloodstream, the excess cholesterol keeps compounding till the plaque starts to get bigger and bigger. It will never have the ability to break the skin, so once the pressure becomes too much it will start to spread sideways. It often develops symmetrically around the eye, on both sides, and tends to appear as a dark, drooping eyelid with a white or yellowish mark. It rarely affects vision or eyelid movement, but can lead to sagging and sagging of the eyes as well as eye pain and eye irritation. It only becomes a complicated issue when it starts to head so large that there is deformity and an ongoing issue with it affecting the person's vision. If you're looking at removal of xanthelasma on eyelids because they have got so large, then two options are applicable. Xanthal or surgery. The surgery option is extreme and can result in the return of the plaques. Removal of xanthelasma and xanthomas on eyelids with surgery. With surgery, enlarged lesions, direct closure can be difficult and contractions, atropians and eyelid deformities may occur. Since the eye is a delicate structure, any surgery that goes with it must be considered risky, as serious consequences can occur if anything goes wrong. If you are interested in removing this small yellow spot on your eye, you will need to consider several risks before the operation. Eyelid contractions may occur in the first few days after xanthelasma removal and after surgery, and eyelid contractions and ectropions may occur in the second half of life. Eye contractions can occur as a result of eye infections, such as cataract, glaucoma or corneal ulceration. The full thickness of the lower lid lesion is less often removed than the thin xanthelasma of the upper lid and can be removed with a flap that can be replaced or sutured. The small bulging xanthelasmata can also be used up with the help of a flap that can replace and sew the flap. A yellowish coating is characteristic of the upper eyelid and the outer layer of the upper and lower eyelids, as well as the inner and outer eyelid of each eye. Removal of Xanthelasma and Xanthomas on Eyelids If a person wants to have yellow growths removed from their eyelids, a visit to a dermatologist is recommended. In cases where Xanthelasma causes worry or discomfort, it is recommended to talk to a doctor. It is not harmful but in rare cases it can be an indicator of possible heart disease. Therefore, it is a good idea to have a medical examination by a doctor or dermatologist. You should know that laser treatment has its own side effects, which can take some time to heal, and therefore you should check them with a doctor. Once you have targeted and pinpointed the issues that have caused the xanthelasma plaques, then it's time to look at the best strategy in removing xanthelasma on your eyelids. Natural supplements such as garlic and castor oil are good at slowing and halting the spread of the plaques. When it comes to treatments for removing them, except one all the other options on removing them are either too excessive or have a bare 100% chance of they coming back. The only difference when xanthelasma returns after an initial treatment, is it will be encapsulated in scar tissue and become even harder to remove. Lasers, dermabrasion etc. all result in even more returning xanthelasma on your eyelid. The recommended approach is with xanthal. This is designed to exactly target xanthalasma and eyelid xanthomas. It works with just one simple treatment and you can use it in the comfort of your own home. Find out if xanthal is for you at xanthalasmatreatment.com or xanthal.com.